This is a Picatinny rail adapter, supplied to me by Filand. At less than $20, it's an inexpensive way to add optics to a pistol that isn't cut for a slide-mounted red dot. And with a Glock, you can mount an optic and it's raised high enough that you can still use your iron sights if you need to. Let's check it out. Okay, so this is what you get. It is a plain brown generic cardboard box with a Filand logo on it. And inside, we find our rail and ah, some tools. All right, let's see what we get here. Well, the rail itself feels well made. Aluminum and the rail is nicely cut and straight. So that's a good that's a good start right there. Oh, and this is the accessory rail. Yeah, let's get that off. So you can put an, access, an accessory, an additional rail on the side to put uh, accessories like a tack light or whatnot, or a laser, or a cup holder, or what have you. I will not, since I'm not using it for that. I'm using this just to attach a red dot onto my uh, Glock, my converted Glock, for precision bullseye shooting. Okay. There you go. It's a little. It's a. It's also a metal pick pick rail. You can attach it to the side, either side here, in uh, these screw holes with these screws and this Allen wrench. And I will not be doing that though. I'll just put this aside so we don't lose it. But should we ever need it in the future? And um, let's take a look at how this attaches to a Glock. All right, let me grab my Glock here with a conversion slide. And um, as you can see, it's disassembled, so we know that it's safe. There, It's clear, there are no rounds inside. All right, and we can even just check one more time. Yes, chamber is clear, and we just need to take off my weapon light, and it attaches thus. And where is that? Now make sure there is a crossbar here, so that should hook up into um, your accessory rail, the crossbar. Um, but it seems to slide in pretty well and easily to... Okay, there we go. Snapped in. Perfect. So just align that with that notch and then tighten her up. Finger tight for now. I don't know what the what the recommended uh, tension should be, torque-wise, but I don't want to over-torque it since this is polymer. And yeah, this feels rock solid. So that's a good indication right there. And um, as you can, let's look at it in profile here. Looks pretty smart. And uh, so you do have a pick rail below. So sh should I want to, or should you want to, you could put back. Uh, your tack light and you, you could mount a red dot or optic on the top. So let's try that. Putting on this CV Life red dot which I re reviewed earlier in a previous episode. So if you want to check that out um, I'll include a link in the video description. wonder if this Allen wrench, or this torque wrench, would work here. Yes, it does. Uh, just won't over tighten this until we get it onto the range. But this feels solid. All right, so there you go. For extra credit, I wanted to see if it would fit a 1911, and yes, it does. I also tried it out on my Walther P22, and that also fit. If you're interested in seeing me test this out on either of those guns, just leave me a comment, and if I get enough interest, I'll make additional videos. Okay, back to the Glock. So, let's take it out to the range and test it out. 
But before we get started, I'd like to ask you to please hit that like and subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed to my channel. And I'd like to thank Violent for sending this pistol rail for me to review. Okay, so we're at the range. I set up 6 inch targets at 25 yards and zeroed out the optic. I did a bullseye course of slow and rapid fire, 5 rounds per target, so a total of 50 rounds that night, and everything held zero, so it passed my test. Is it right for you? Well, that's for you to decide. But if you want one, I've included a link in the video description so you can pick it up on Amazon. The thing retails for less than 20 bucks on Amazon, and to be honest, I thought this cheap, I would find something wrong with it. And I'm actually surprised I didn't. The one thing I did find was that I really need more practice shooting one-handed. Thanks for watching. Moondog, out. Hey, if you like this video, please share it on social media. You know, Facebook, forums, MeWe, whatever platform you're on. And if you want to see more videos, check out MoondogIndustries.com.